doesn't do that much of the glide tech canceling stuff. Like, he does it a little bit, but he uh, really plays more to her spacing ability that float gives him. No, he definitely relies on his neutral quite a bit more, but in this matchup, it's going to be a very difficult matchup to play in, especially oh, yes. Cloud having such long range with that sword of his, basically leaving Peach unable to space him out. I mean, right now we already have Anti just dominating this ledge, waiting for all these reactions, almost punishing that air dodge. Doesn't find it, actually. Not last, getting his way back in, just a pair of jabs, but that's what he needs, just to get some real estate for him to bait back and forth. Yeah, Anti went for some jabs of his own, but unfortunately can't get anything else. Going for yet again, finally gonna get punished. Eating that booty bump, and now we are dead, even for sense. A dash attack again from Not Last, and he is allowing- Oh, it's a bomb! Yeah, and, uh, Not Last always gets really busted RNG stuff off of his uh, turn up pulls. You just get used to it after a bit. I, I, I actually <laughs> didn't see it. That was the most <laughs> slick bomb. <laughs> I mean, Anti played around it really well. Uh, like, he just kept focused and uh, just jumped out of the way. Didn't panic. All right, down air again. Neutral air reverse. Just going to clip, not last, but he is sitting with limit. Oof. The down air calling out that jump and getting the stock. He recognized the fact that last time he was applying a lot of pressure on not last. He did the jump get up again. So uh, just read that same option, got the good stock. Which I'm not going to leave anything, but he does follow up into that dash attack. He got the air dodge, but that's why he didn't go for a down or even anything else. Oh, just getting himself some fast damage with that oh, limit. Oh, he's trying to drag him back down with a single side B. He actually did that at full bloom against uh, Samsara, if I'm not mistaken. It looked pretty clean. Getting it back here once again. Looks like not less is not dissuaded from jumping off the ledge. Recognizing, I mean, that's such a good peach option because you can glide at any point during that, so. It's going to still be tough to reclaim this stage when Anti is holding it over with his sword. And the fact that Anti is in that position where he can act reactively uh, to whatever Not Last does, right? He waits for the button press and then he punishes it with, with an air or a back air. Yeah, but a quick forward air out from Not Last taking away that stock. But still, Anti has all the control. Down throw, not going to lean into anything. Beautiful DI from Not Last. Oh, the down throw coming out. I thought we were going to get a back throw, possible edge guard, but. And nonetheless, he is keeping off stage. I don't really think he nice double jump, but he goes all the way oh. down with the downer not connecting, oh. and he goes too low. I <laughs> not last recognizing the the situation that he was in. No double jump on anti. Realizing I can, I have to put it all on the line now. Uh, I don't want to go back to the way that neutral game was going. Uh, but yep. unable to find the down airs all the way through. Anti sees well, himself fast to fell. the ledge, and that was the worst part. Since he did mm. fastball, he was unable to go ahead and get the height that he needed to get back to that ledge. And, you know, Anti is just gonna take that. He's like, "Cool, I'm living. I lost my jump. Yeah, I'm blessed." Yeah, I mean, if he got hit by a last hit of that down air, that would be a pretty scary situation. So, yeah, you absolutely take those. It's like getting a free order of chips, you know. You're supposed to get free order of chips. What are you talking about? Any Mexican restaurant, you're supposed My to bad. get chips. Free order of nachos. All right, thank you. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we go. Cross slash catching him, but not less. Actually, jumped up to a very sizable lead against Anti in the early goings of this match. But this is Cloud we got to go talk about and already evening up after those two hits, basically. Oh, going for the roll get up, but not getting any sort of punish off that down smash. Anti recognizing that he couldn't punish that roll. Trying to lead into that neutral air, but the air dodge yep. coming out just a little bit too long for him. Waiting again at that ledge. It looks like Not Last is getting a little bit more comfortable off stage. Like he also sees that Anti is just playing purely off of the ledge trapping ability of Cloud at the moment. And there's really nothing else that Anti has to do, especially sitting with limit. Oh, absolutely. And as I call it, cross slash coming out, taking away the stock. At the end of the day, it's about commitment. You know, you don't you don't need to put it all on the line in every neutral interaction. If you recognize uh, a certain like uh, choke point in the flow of the game, you can just make sure you hold that choke point for as long as possible. Ooh, another cross slash off of that down throw, 44% now or not last. I love that single jab from Anti. Kind of just trying to space him out. Oh, oh no, he has a turn up in hand. He's pretty stuck. I thought he was going to let a finishing touch just rip because since not, not oh. last was just stuck there on the platform. Right, to try to catch whichever his roll getup was. And now, oh. oh, wow, not clipping him on that ledge. Anti not close enough. Yeah, not last being able to grab that ledge and still just looking for a way back. Finally finds it, but immediately goes for a dash attack. And just like that, down throw into up air. Anti takes game two. Anti again, dominant performance there in that last game, and it is not looking good for not last. I mean, the the question is like, I mean, he's getting closer and closer. Don't get me wrong, like, yeah. I'm, I'm not talking him down, but 
Yeah. The way Anti is playing this neutral, the way Anti is just trapping him at that ledge. Not last needs to find an answer and quick. It's it's Anti is absolutely playing to, to the strength in the matchup, right? It's just Cloud has an iron wall, which is also a sword, right? He's just able to keep Peach in these uncomfortable situations where he gets to constantly just play after her. You know, like you take the first turn and then I'm just gonna hit you, or I'll nair and be able to cover like three of your ledge get up options. So many different ways that he can control the pace of the match. And it's usually not last like relishes the slow paced games and stuff because he gets to have a lot of time to download his opponent. But in these situations where he really only gets like two openings of stock, two or three openings of stock, it's so hard to make that count to the degree that Cloud can make every single one of his wins count. Exactly so, and here we go. Game three, running it straight back to Smashville yet again. Hopefully not last can go ahead and apply what we were just talking about, G-Pick, but already not last coming, not last, anti, coming in with that cross slash. Mm -hmm. Oh, actually reading correctly the stop and the jab pressure, getting the grab, but just like that, it's it, uh, not last is having trouble finding more than just a single throw, you know, off of his wins. I say that, but he's actually managed to get a bit more damage right there. Yeah, not less. Actually, keeping this a lot more closer than the past two games. Anti is about to get limit though, so we might go ahead and just change the whole complexity of this match. But no fear from that last. Immediately coming in with that forward air. Oh man, and just barely outspacing that nair. Really clean stuff, and just using the float to get that little inch to inch movement. It's oh. very, uh, it's very good as a movement. Wow, action. mixing anti up, going high instead. Anti expecting him to go low. This time, stalling out high, waiting for that up smash to finish before going for that ledge. Being caught, though, for a stall right afterwards. You can only stall for so long. Mm -hmm. Only so many times you can mix up your opponent. When you go for the same one once, twice, they're going to get you every once in a while. All right, trying to go for the blade beam again. Oh, that's actually going to quite a bit more. Uh, kind of Mewtwo King-esque. Let's go ahead and try to get the percent, allow him to get back onto that stage, and oh, he did have to go. Oh man, that was close, and still the down air catching the neutral get up, and catching the legs with the forward air. Not last, evening up the stocks this game. Uh, it was really good to set up with that turn up, forcing Anti to go high. Anti didn't want to just air dodge past it and possibly have some type of stage fight. All right, downside again, just scooping him up. Can't stay on the ledge that long against Cloud. Manages to find his way through. Oh, catching that landing, waiting patiently, getting another re-grab. This is the Sora Punish game I was hoping to see. This is a lot better, 56% off of that single grab, but now he's forced off stage by Anti. And Anti just charging up that limit yet again, trying to lead in with that downer. No, but he does get the pivot grab instead. Another wow. cross slash is another hot 18%. And, and just that getting him right out of that float too. Yeah, because it covers so much space. All right, there is turn up in hand, trying to lead with that forwarder, but he's gonna eat a back air instead. So close, taking away the stock. I think the anti back does. Gonna kill. Yeah, no, definitely will. <laughs> 115% against a 70% cloud. Up air, popping him up, forcing another landing question. Yeah, but anti thinking over his options. It rip. Oh wow, get up attack instead, not last, showing no fear. Yeah, anti not ready for that, but anti still catching that back roll with the limit blade beam. Recognizing the fear that was in not lasting, you know what? I know you want to press a button right now. I've been applying 